And good Saturday morning, Matt Ray, KGO Radio 810, taking your calls at 80-80-810-415-808-0810 is the number. We're speaking live with our guest this hour. She's Royal and Reed. She's a diversity and sensitivity expert. The website is the cmiteam.com. We're discussing the court ruling earlier this week that uh, the Northern California School, Live Oak High School in San Jose, uh, didn't violate the constitutional rights of its students when it made them turn their American flag T-shirts inside out on Cinco de Mayo or be sent home due to fears of racial violence. And, and Royal, and one of the aspects I wanted to get into with you is, you know, you work with schools uh, to talk uh, diversity and, 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 you know, you talk uh, sensitivity training with them. This school was worried about violence erupting because of you know them wearing the american flag t-shirts they had a history of violence on that day specifically how how do you curb that so that these kids can come to school and wear these american flag t-shirts well you know because man when you look at it right then they were in crisis mode so something has happened you know in most schools and in most places it takes a while to build up that you have to you're worried about violence on a day that's supposed to be celebrate celebration for a group of people. And that's what you have to look at. Now, when you're in crisis mode, you have to deal with the safety. But yeah. what's important is, I think the school has to go back and look and put some things in, mo- in, in place. You need to do an evaluation. What can you do between now and the next year in hoping that it will be different? What can you put in place that will be measurable and different? Starting with communication, diversity is about what does everyone have in common, a common ground, and especially after you get to what's causing this tension. But there are basic steps that you follow in terms of, of bringing about solutions to issues like this. But right then, I mean, if it had to become, as we talked about before, between safety and security of students, it should have been a no-brainer. Yeah. You talked about, uh, you know, there are basic steps they need to follow. What are some of those steps? Well, first of all, you have to look at what is the root of the issue? What's really going on? What's causing these facets? Sometimes it could be something very simple because, you know, how communication goes. So that's one thing in terms of looking at communication and and looking at um, what's going on with the issue. But on the other hand, um, diversity is proactive. A lot of people don't understand what diversity is, but it may, it may not be that it's what you like or what you agree on, but what are, what's common ground that people have that you can celebrate differences? And um, I think a really good example is, you know, we heard recently what was going on with the football player and him coming out with his sexual orientation, whether or not the but other football players agreed with that. Their common ground was football and mm-hmm. winning a game. Yeah. So that's what you rally around. And so with this as well, the school has to find what's common ground with those students in that community and school to move forward and, pro- and being proactive, as well as getting to the communication and finding out what's the root cause of what's going on. So those are primarily the two angles, and there are steps and methods you use to to successfully do that. And the good thing is what you do is we see what's going on now. It's front and center in the world. But next year, you can measure is there a difference and a change based on what you've done, and you should be able to do that. And with us, that's what metrics are about. You expect a true change. The students that ruled against uh, the kids here that wore the American flags and the court, uh, the the court that ruled against the kids here, uh, were these kids? I, I don't want to call them victims, but but is this a product of the you know the school failing on this on this uh, aspect of of diversity and sensitivity? And we don't really know as much about that, Matt. Unfortunately, sometimes things evolve and they can happen and they can be inherited. You know, if we don't nip something in the bud or if we aren't even aware of it, Mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of times schools are, they're focusing on education and the day to day issues, then things can, you know, kind of happen. But, um, unfortunately too is when we get caught up in emotion, we forget about what's really going on. What's the true cause? And at some point we've got to bring the crisis down and the emotions down to get to, um, a solution. And to move forward. Yeah. Well, uh, these kids, their parents anyway, have said the kids were just trying to be patriotic. They weren't trying to start a fight. 
Uh, one of the lawyers says he plans to ask a, a judge uh, a panel of the appeals court to rehear it. Uh, he said they're ready to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, but it sounds like, from what you're saying, this could have uh, been taken care of on a on a much uh, much smaller level, and we wouldn't even be talking about it right now. Um, absolutely, and hopefully that'll happen next year. The sad thing would be is if you look back and they have the same problem next year. But there's so many things you can do, and of course we know wearing your your shirt, you know, the flag. There's nothing wrong with that. But in this instance, could it be the right thing at the wrong time as also looking at your intent? Are you trying to bring healing? Are you trying to celebrate yourself or make an issue? What's really going on? So yeah. those are the kinds of things, you know, you have to look at. And unfortunately, it would be a just, you know, injustice to the children not to be able to help them see and come to a resolution. Yeah. We appreciate your time, as always. Royal and Reed, diversity and sensitivity expert. The website is the CMITeam.com. Thank you, Royal and. Always good to be with you, Matt.